All right, guys, well, I'm back today with an update, an overview video on one of my favorite rifle lights that Olight is producing. This is the brand new Odin S, and it's a rail mounted lighting system with a pressure switch, integrated mount, and an incredible versatility when it comes to mounting options via a pick rail, M lock rail, or different scout mounting solutions. The other thing is, it's got improved electronics potted electronics and an overall more robust design than previous generations and on top of that it's actually dual fuel allowing it to be magnetically recharged or run standard CR1238 batteries again making it one of the most versatile and robust Olight rifle lights that they've ever produced now this light generally sells for $150 and I think they really killed it for that price point but if you can save money why not? And it's on sale right now for $119.99 for their summer sale. On top of that, they've got a wheel that you can spin every time you log in. Members only pricing on a ton of other lights, including things like the brand new PL3 Mini Valkyrie in different color variations. And there's also free lights that you can add to your cart simply by logging in as a member. So there's a ton of ways to save. But let's talk a little bit about the Odin S and why I'm so in love with this design and setup. Now I'm actually running three on the channel and this is the latest version that came out to the channel that Olight sent out for this specific overview. Now I've been running them on three platforms and I've been running them pretty heavy. I've actually been reviewing some optics like this aim point. I've been reviewing the Palmetto State Armory Sabre lineup of uppers and I've been running them with a can and without a can on the end so they're getting blast and they're also getting heat generation not only from the rifle shooting but from the can that that's on the end of it. So they've been really been put through the paces the past few months since the initial release. I was also testing some of the initial versions uh, prior to the release of the light. So I have close to about 2,000 rounds through uh, these rifles with the lights attached to them and have a good understanding of their capabilities and their performance down at the range. I do want to talk about the lumens because it's obviously a flashlight overview and the output is 1500 lumens. Now it also is a, a beam reach or a throw of 250 meters. Now that is with the included rechargeable battery. When you swap out to the CR123A battery, you do get a little bit of diminished performance but I love the fact that it does include the spacer inside the box itself to run two CR1238 batteries. I feel like that is key for a duty rifle light. If so, if the light goes down in the field, you can simply swap out the batteries without recharging, which is nice. But if you're taking it to the range and you're constantly using the light, it's nice not to just burn through batteries and actually recharge the lights. The other cool thing is rechargeable batteries, no matter what manufacturer they're from, experience more vampire drain when not in use than non-rechargeable batteries. Meaning if you take a rechargeable battery and a non-rechargeable battery and you put them in a device and let them sit without turning them on, the non-rechargeable battery is just going to have a more stable shelf life than the rechargeable battery. So for personal defense rifles that you're not going to be shooting much or maybe patrol rifles or rifles you're going to keep in the trunk of your vehicle, I'm going to swap out that rechargeable battery with the spacer and run two CR123 batteries and that's what I'm doing with these lights. Only one of them actually has the rechargeable battery. Now with that being said it's been holding up great. It does have a uh, vibration mode that uh, kind of it's triggered or activated when you press the button to let you know when you're running low on battery life. I've already mentioned the potted electronics, but I do want to stress that again. We are talking about uh, a more premium method of manufacturing and potting those electronics, meaning you know covering that board, that, that control board in some type of resin to maintain that durability under recoil and heat is just a key feature that they're doing in the new Odin S. On top of that, the mount itself is no longer a two-piece mount, meaning it used to be the light, then the scout mounting solution was bolted into the light, and then you attach that to the mount. Now it's all monolithically machined out of one piece of aluminum, so it's going to be much more durable and rigid over time. They have also have two different mounting systems available, one for the M-Lock, which you see here, which hugs the rail incredibly nice and tight, or they've got the standard pick rail mounts that the Odins are known for, and they're available in both 
both variations. So they've updated those mounts. They lock up rock solid. I mean, there's absolutely no play or flex, which is pretty cool. And if you don't like any of these mounts, you can actually just bolt right into the bottom of that because it is the scout mounting footprint. I've reviewed a lot of scout mounting options in the past for as low as $10 and $15 from companies like Monstrum Tactical or Arasaka ones that go up to about $60 or $70. And they all work out great with this light. So the mounting possibilities are almost endless. I do also love the fact that it includes the magnetic locking pressure switch in the box. You have the momentary on and you have the constant on. You also have the ability to click the low button. Again, we are talking about a 1500 lumen bright light with the included battery, so the low lumen button is nice for inside the home. The other cool thing about this pressure switch setup is the fact that it's very clean, elegant, and durable. I've been running the Odins now for years, probably close to four or five years, ever since they were initially released i've been running them and through the odin series of lights i have well over 10 to 15 000 rounds and that's probably an understatement it's probably closer to 20 000 rounds because again they're just on a lot of my rifle setups and i put a ton of rounds through them and that's not on one light that's across the board of all the odin types that i have but i've never had any odin fail on me i've never had any pressure switch stop working and i've never had anything break or come loose so it's just a solid solution, and this is even more durable than the previous generations. They also have a locking pressure switch. So when you clip it on, you clip it down, and you rotate it, and now if you pull this cable, it will not come off. You have to rotate it again, then pull to unlock it. So that is a nice touch on there, and you can see the information explaining how to do that. So overall, I'm a huge fan of the brand new Odin S. I wanted to do an update video because I felt like I was putting out a ton of videos at the time of launch. I had a lot of rounds to it then, but I have even more samples of this light and even more rounds downrange, and it has been working great. So if you want to take advantage of the sale, all of the information and linking is in the description below. Now that is an affiliate link, so if you decide to click on it, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you, just brings you right to the sale page. And a huge shout out to Olight for sending these out at my request to review. I'm a huge fan of these lights. I think you will be too. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.